Hello everyone, sorry for such a delay in videos, but uh, busy. Buying well, a quick video now to show you the effectiveness of a portable carpet cleaner. So we got this Vax um, One Power um, cordless um, carpet cleaner slash extractor. Uh, my, uh, we've had an accident in the house where some spillage of liquid on the floor. Um, so we've uh, obviously while we got the carpet cleaner out, uh, we've um, put some kitchen roll down. You can see the kitchen roll's done a really good job. It's sucked up a lot, um, but um, it's times that it needs to be extracted properly and cleaned. So we're gonna do this. I'm using a combination of water um, just to suck out all the liquid, and then I'm gonna use um, soap solution afterwards. This is something that happens quite often with this uh, one plus cleaner you have to be careful because there's only a tiny little bit of plastic clips holding the front on uh, and uh, sometimes it will just um, just come off in the middle of using it which becomes useless because then you don't have any suction
as you probably guessed it, we're dealing with milk. Um, so as you can see, the carpet cleaner has done quite a good job of sucking out the milk. It's not been watered down or anything, but it's done pretty good. Now, the problem with these um, portable carpet cleaners, there are some restrictions. Uh, one of the restrictions are is you're limited on, on suction power uh, and how much liquid it will pull up from carpets, especially a carpet like this, because it's quite thick pile. Um, and then the other issue you've got is um, the length of the holes, if you can notice on here now. The holes are this, um, I'm restricted, so I have to bring the unit closer to me um, and, and it does cause an issue. So, what we're going to do is we're going to um, try and get up a little bit more uh, and then we're going to soak the area a little bit with some water and then um, do a bit more extraction um, to get as much out before we uh, put a soap solution down. And the soap solution is going to be down to, to prevent the milk from smelling. stop there a minute because I've just come across an issue um, and I think it's quite good to address this because uh, this is something that that will happen to uh, one of these uh, portable carpet cleaners uh, it's inevitable I'm afraid so um, if you look at this you can see the hose yeah this hose is quite rigid it's quite small uh, this hose has got a pipe that goes down the middle of it which is the spray nozzle when you press the trigger button and it sprays liquid out now the issue with this carpet cleaner is on the end, if you can see, the hose is split. So it's now losing suction. Yeah, so it's not being as effective as pulling liquid up. Furthermore, there's more splits in the cable here now as well, which, and this is another reason, because if you look, when you finish using the cleaner, you tend to wrap the cable up like that. And that's where the stress is on the ends and here. So my advice is, if you do have one of these portable cleaners, not to um, fold the cable up, because as you can see, it's split now. So um, this one's become uh, quite ineffective now because of, because the cable's split. So, uh, but there we go. As you can see, I've sucked up most of the liquid. Um, it's done. It's not done a too bad a job, considering it's got issues with the suction power because of the cable. Uh, it has sucked up some milk. Um, so. Um, it's going to be a case of getting an alternative carpet cleaner uh, and finish the job. But thanks for watching um, and I shall see you on another video.